blessings everybody how are you doing i pray that um this video is meeting you well and i pray that you're fine and dandy i'm excited for today without further ado let's get started in the name of jesus father we thank you for your love thank you so much for what you are still to do with us in us and through us i pray that today you take the glory again at the end of the day no man will be heard no man will be seen but you will love you we decree and declare everlasting love for you in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah guys thank you so much for staying put and i just want to share something that the lord um showed me months ago and uh, i pray that this is going to usher you and i into a season of praying into a season of seeking the face of the lord this video may not be for everybody but if you are like an intercessor if you maybe have a call of god upon your life and or if you know that the lord is choosing you to maybe do something in your territory maybe from your family to your community to your territory to in your generation and all of that this video is definitely for you guys so sometime in uh, june i actually i was just praying and seeking the face of the lord about certain stuff now the lord just led me you know to like pray for like a certain amount of time and as i was doing that and one of these days while i was praying you know my eyes were closed i wasn't distracted by anything i was just praying and praying and praying so sometime into that prayer the lord just opened my eyes and um this is kind of like shocking because yes i do see sometimes but it's not as pronounced as that particular type like that like for me to just be praying and then i get like that kind of vision so i seldom see like that but while i was praying i saw this particular thing seven times so it was more than once i was praying and then i saw like a sea of people i saw people walking and then as people were walking i opened my eyes because i was like what am i seeing so i opened my eyes and i didn't see anything i closed it again and i continued praying the second time i still saw these people walking they were going somewhere and then i opened my eyes again and i closed it again and then this time around i saw these people they had gotten into like a very big hall it was a very very huge building now as these people were like doing something i don't know i couldn't really see clearly what they were doing but i saw that these very people that had been moving before actually got inside that hall i opened my eyes i closed it again I still saw these people. Now, the more I open my eyes and close it, the clearer whatever it is that I was seeing before becomes clearer, like the more it becomes clearer. So I closed it again and I opened and I saw these people. Some of them were like just um, uh, standing straight, you know, not doing anything. Then I, I, I saw another set of people in this hall. There were so, so many people. I couldn't count them. Remember, I said a sea of people. Now, some people were just standing. And not doing anything other people were just like bending you know like when someone stoops over right so they were just like bending over a little bit and then another set of people i saw some of the people sitting on the floor and then i saw another set of people they were pacing back and forth moving back and forth moving back and forth when i opened my eyes i closed it again i saw that these people were actually praying so I noticed that these people were praying. So some people were pacing back and forth and praying. Others were standing. Others were stooping or bending. And then another set of people, they were just sitting down on the floor and they were all praying. Now this should have been about the sixth time I closed and opened them. When I opened my eyes again and I closed it, I saw them praying again. Now this was more intense. I saw like it, it wasn't necessarily about gender like male and female like many people were like different places and this place when uh, before like before that uh, vision cleared from me i heard uh, i was like you know as i saw them i didn't close uh, i didn't open my eyes rather this time around i kept looking i was wondering what they were doing and why all this sea of people were praying and the more i looked the more i looked the more i looked and when it was about to clear from me i heard the lord tell me prayer city now i wrote it down and I continued praying. I was like, God, what did you show me? Like, what was that? And all what not. So the more I was praying and praying, I didn't really get much about that thing that day. Then the next day, I continued praying again. And then the Lord began to explain to me that what I saw is a selection that is going on in the realm of the spirit. And I was like, I really, really need to understand what this selection is guys because you know sometimes we may think that we know what the lord is telling us but we may not and the lord gave me the example of gideon 
when he wanted to take the children of Israel up for battle or to battle, he said, these people that you have, there are so many of them. He said that he doesn't want to take all of them. I think there were like 33,000 or so, but there were 30,000 plus. And the Lord said, all these people, I don't want to take them to battle because before they say that, oh, it's by their strength or maybe because they were so numerous, that's why they won. But the Lord said that they should go to the water, uh, to the, uh, like, uh, the water body, like a stream. And then they should begin to drink, depending on how you drink, if you lap or if you carry and drink, or if you kneel down to drink, depending on what you do, that is what, like, depending on what you do, that is how it's going to determine if you will be selected for whatever it is that the Lord wants to do, which then was that battle. So, and I was like, wow, this is really, really detailed because I was like, that makes sense to why many people were praying. They had different prayer postures and all whatnot. But people of God, if you think that you have a call of God upon your life, you've been waiting on the Lord for a while, you've been waiting upon Him maybe for certain things in your life, your ministry, your calling. I just want to tell you that there's a selection going on in the realm of the Spirit. If the Lord has told you to do anything, make sure you do it remember i want to tell you although there were thirty thousand people that initially wanted to go some people they said if you are scared and if you are not man enough just go back home some people returned other people because of the way they drank the water they were disqualified and i think there were just maybe 300 few or less than 500 people that went for that uh, for that war so i'm here to tell you that there's a selection going on in the realm of the spirit like I said, if you think or uh, sense a call of God upon your life, maybe the Lord has told you to do certain things for him. It's high time for you to do those things. It's high time for you to make sure that you align yourself with the move of the Lord and not only the move of the Lord, but obeying total obedience to whatever it is that the Lord is saying that you should do. So people of God, I'm just here to encourage you. Without further ado, God bless you. Shalom.